Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth. I got it right that time. Anybody notice? Okay, we're trying a different setup here for filming, so I stay out of my own light. So I have to do the reveal backwards. Okay, still got quite a few living in the plastic here, but that's okay. So we can see there's quite a few on top already. So let me see what they're doing. I mean, they're already making some very nice castings right on top. You can tell the difference with the different kind of worms, what kind of castings they make. And the African night crawlers make very granulated, almost coffee ground looking um, castings. So let's, I think I fed right down the middle last time. So let's see what we've got going. Looks like they're already kind of hunking up right here. And there we go. That's lovely. Wow. That's that's a hunk of worms. They're still not picking up a whole bunch of weight, but uh, I don't even remember what that was. But the the worm ball goes on. Still smelling the garlic from the garlic braids. Gave them a lot of vegetables last time. Looks like they're finally attacking the pineapple here. Kind of put that off to the side so we can rebuild. Looks like they've eaten all of the melon except for the one rind part. All right. They just really do love their avocados. I'm not sure I ate as many avocados as I do now, and I don't know if I'm doing it for me or if I'm doing it for them, but the little guys just really do seem to enjoy avocados. Oh, more worm ball. Not sure what I've gotten into now. But uh, I did go back and look at the old video, and I did give them a lot of food in hopes that we would get a worm ball. So we are seeing the large amount of worms in here that there are. Sometimes with the African night crawlers, because they don't tend to ball up, you don't usually get to see them all lumped together like hamburger, like you do with the red wigglers and the European night crawlers and the blue worms. It just doesn't happen very often. So usually there's a couple of things that will get them to do that. Um, and I'm going to give them another batch of food that they just love today. But if you've seen the video from the last time recently, um, I did put about two gallons of new bedding on there. And you can tell how much they've already worked through it. They really do an amazing job with all of the bedding. All right. So just kind of flipping around here and looking through the bedding. Going to gather up the food from last time. Oop, yep, there's more worm ball. Paper towel with something on it. Uh, Tivana tea bags. And those are the worms. But they're doing very nicely here. Moisture is exactly where I would like to have it. Um, still working on the pumpkin stem there. But I'm going to do something weird today. 
And I know, it's not really weird for me to do something weird. We uh-oh. Move the camera, it's all right. It's not unusual for me to do experiments, so that's true. But I'm going to feed something I've never fed before today. And uh, so I'm hoping that it goes well. I'm going to put the old food down first. Okay, something interesting for the dogs to bark at outside. Hold on. Where was I? Oh, that's right. I'm going to do something weird again. I'm uh, going to feed them something I've never fed before. Um, we accidentally made some boiled eggs and they got left uh, for too long and they basically turned into, I don't know, hockey pucks. So I have frozen them so you can tell they're, yeah, I mean they're not rotten or anything, they're just not right. Um, and they can have a few tea bags, another egg, and I've got some more rice left. So let's see if there's any other food to cover up with here. Alrighty try and get everything in close so that all of the worms that are still kind of balled up here will have a direct route to the new food. Just going to kind of churn up the sides of the bin. They do tend to get a little bit drier. Kind of give everything the opportunity to even out moisture wise but as you can see the uh, the bedding that we did last time is I, I don't know 50 percent done already so that's pretty awesome um, but I'm not gonna give them any more bedding right now at this moment I think they've got enough for right now I'm not trying to overload the system um, volumetrically it is getting a little bit full um, I'm going to go back and look and see exactly when I started this. I think um, I'll probably try and hit it at six months. That's usually, I mean, for a brand new bag, um, I think that's a good number. I think maybe three or four months would be ideal, but I'm not sure that um, I have it at a finished state down below um, that's far enough for it to to do a harvest at this point. So I'm just going to wait for a good round six months. But that's it for right now. We're just, we've done a little something strange. We've checked in on them. We've seen a worm ball. What else can you ask for from a worm video? All right, guys, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.